Okay, so I just finished watching um, episode 6 of The Legend of Korra, and it was really good. It starts out, um, Amon, they're, the firefighters are all, three of them are training, and then Amon makes a threat over the radio saying that they better shut the, ra the um, pro-bending arena down so they can't do the championship finals. But it's actually a trick because he wants them to keep it open so that he can like go in and sneak around and then take the bending away from people. And so, and make a big speech and stuff. And so, um, the council was going to shut the arena down, but then Chief Beifong um, goes and tells them, um, we have to stand up to Amon. And then they do, and they say, okay, yeah. And then um, Chief Beifong goes out because um, Tenzin wants to talk to him. Her, excuse me, her. And then, um, and then Korra sees them arguing, and then, Beifong goes away, and she's like, wait, I get it now. You and Beifong used to go out. Pema stole you from Beifong, and she's, and he's like, what? Who told you that information? She's like, Pema, and he's like, oh, I gotta go home and talk to her, and so they used to date, and then, and then, um, they go to the championship finals and stuff, and this, this episode centers a lot around the bending arena as well, and so they're like, they go and the 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 wolf bats. I think that the white ferret wolf bats. They're cheating. Somebody paid off the ref, so they're like putting ice in their Tohana or whatever his name is. He's using ice, and that's illegal. And then he and then they're mixing their water with like chunks of of earth, and then like throwing it at their heads, and that's illegal. But but, um, the refs aren't saying anything, and then they think they get a knockout, but Korra hangs on to the edge of the ring with Mako, and she swings him over, and then he, like, gets, he gets the waterbender, and then it's a tiebreaker, so they have to, like, go up in the circle, her, and Korra fights, uh, Tohana, or I think, I don't know, I don't know how you say his name, and she wins, because she, like, gets him, like, right here, and, um, knocks him off the ring, and then they're fighting, and, they and then a round three knockout the firefighters lose because the the other guys are cheating and so um then they're in the water and amon comes in and every and all the ben all like the the equalists that are hiding in the stands they're like pulling up their masks and putting on the cheap blocking gloves and then they're and then they're like attacking all the benders in the arena and stuff and the white ferret wolf bats to get their bending taken away by amon and um, the fire ferrets are like tied up behind the arena and it's gonna like collapse. But then um, pa pa Pablo, Pablo, like chews through the ropes and um, frees them. And then Cora goes after Amon and she doesn't make it all the way up. She like gets a, f a boost from the water and she gets like halfway through the arena. But then Chief Beifong, she like, like starts whipping out uh, metal everywhere. It's really cool and she like grabs hold of her, and then they fight on the roof and stuff, and then they, like, try to get to the, and then Beifong gets, and she's, like, attached to the, um, to the blimp thing, and then Korra falls off the roof because the roof cracks under her, and Beifong lets go of the thing to save Korra, and they, like, and they, like, swing and everything, and then they, like, land, and then Mako comes running up, I'm so glad you're okay, Korra, and they run, and then, and Bolin ruins the moment, he's like, me too, boom, and then, like, he, like, crushes them, and then it's, it's really good, and that's, like, how it ends, it ends, um, Tenzin saying Republic City's at war, and it's, um, it didn't, there wasn't a review, there wasn't a preview of the next episode, so I don't know anything that's gonna happen, but if I find out another like a, a promo or something I will uh, make a review on it or tell you what or tell you what's in it